always on our minds, and I'm sure it was part of your New Year's resolution. I know it was a part of mine. And I want to share with you some things that I did last year, I incorporated into my lifestyle that really worked. My first money basic tip is use cash, cash only. I shared this with a few of my friends and family and they love it, it's worked. They're realizing that they put themselves on a budget without really putting themselves on a budget. You're saving money and you're making wise decisions. So here's what you do. You get envelopes with the categories of things that you do during the week. For instance, you buy gas, there's entertainment, and then there's grocery. However much money you spend for those categories per week, you put that money in the envelope. So for instance, let's say grocery, well, this is actually for a month. Let's say grocery for a month is $500. So you put $500 in the envelope. If at the end of the, if middle of the month, you're down to 30 bucks, guess what? Too bad, too sad. You use too much, so then you're gonna have to reassess how much you need to use for your budget. Okay, got it? So again, create the envelopes with the different categories and put the amount of money in that envelope. When that money is done, that's it until the next paycheck. Okay, simple enough. Money basic tip number two. Start an emergency cash fund right away with $1,000. Don't pay on a bill, a credit card bill that is, of course, pay your necessities, but you have to have an emergency fund of $1,000. That is so important. You know why? Because we all have emergencies. The car breaks down, the AC breaks down, and I'm saying all these things because it happened to me. <laughs> anyway, it is such an awesome feeling to go and get the cash to pay for these things instead of using a credit card and swiping for $400. That's a lot of money to be paying 23% interest on. So again, start that emergency fund right away, $1,000. Now, if you already have it, then you need to work towards creating a three to six months account of living expenses. Again, if anything happens, you're fully prepared. My third and final money basic tip is, you've heard it before, it's nothing new, pay off those credit cards. I hope that was part of your resolution too. You always want to start with the smallest balance first. That's my advice. Again, I did it and it worked. Um, because when you pay off the smaller credit card and you move to the next and the next, small victories are very encouraging. When you see that they're going away, you'll continue to do it and in the end, you'll be successful. And that's what we all want. So good luck in doing that as well. All right, so let's recap our money basic tips. First, use cash only. Quit swiping the card for that Starbucks coffee. Second, begin that $1,000 emergency fund ASAP. Why? Because emergencies will happen. And third, pay off those credit cards starting from your lowest balance to your highest. Well, I sure hope these will help you in achieving your financial goals. Good luck!